Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Welcome today to JC Club Sport. I'm here with my A45S. You might actually recognize some of the cars in the background as well because we're doing some more mods to the car. We're actually going more into the interior today. Uh, I've only ever done one interior mod, which is of course just a retrim steering wheel from Royal Steering Wheels. But today, the modification we're gonna do to the car is gonna drastically change the interior. If you guys have heard of JC Club Sport, you probably know what we're gonna be doing. But if you haven't, find all the details down down below but we'll catch up with the guys from JC and then we'll get it in the workshop and get going with these mods. Okay, we're joined now. The man behind JC Club Sport, James. Mate, it's, uh, it's, well, it's a long time coming in it, really. I know, it's been a bit of a tricky one organising this. <laughs> I've, yeah. I've filmed probably most cars that you've worked on nowadays, so it's only right that I, I come down. And nope. as I mentioned, there is some familiar cars around the place which we'll have a look at. But people don't actually know the mod we're doing today. Uh, fairly obviously, the guys that know about you guys, the most popular thing that you do. <laughs> yeah, exactly so, that, yeah. And it's going to transform the interior. Um, obviously, we still need to spec certain aspects of what it's going to look like and things, uh, but long and short, we're having a rear seat delete put in the car. Exactly that. It's going to look really cool. But I think probably best before we get the car in, we'll have a look at some of the other examples. Um, yeah, of course, yeah. Some people that are obviously familiar with the channel will see the video uh, of the 240, then you'll know basically it's just fully customizable kits, isn't it? That's exactly that, yeah. So Ben's uh, very well known for going to car meets and tearing up the rear tires. So <laughs> um, he came down to me and asked for a custom kit to incorporate his jack and he's got his little battery uh, yeah. battery wrench over there as well. Literally goes through so many rear tires and needs to change it. Exactly that, daily. Yeah. yeah, exactly that, yeah. <laughs> the other kit we got a car in is yeah. another one that you've done, Barb's TTRS here. Yeah. This is a one of one kit that we're gonna be releasing into the market soon. So this is a carbon fiber rear seat delete kit. Oh, nice. And then incorporating uh, one of the roll cages that we're partnered with, yeah. SW Motorsports, carbon bar, and then a custom net that yeah. we make all in-house here. That carbon bar is nice, actually. A lot, a lot of people think they're just wraps, but it's not. We, it's, we yeah. only provide genuine yeah, carbon, yeah, yeah. carbon fiber, yeah, yeah. Awesome, yeah. Yeah, and outside there's a couple more, couple more cars that we've got stuff to do. So the M4 is here. Um, that's one of our demo cars. That's mm -hmm. having a full cage and rear seat delete kit. Nice. We've got this lovely brand new Defender in yeah. that's having Starlight headliner with Alcantara. Oh, blimey. Yeah, it's going to be a posh build. So it's yeah. basically any, anything to do with the interior you guys can do. Exactly that. Much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we're trying to branch out as much as possible. Yeah, We've just yeah. brought in a, um, an upholsterer full-time in-house as nice. well. So yeah. um, seat retrims are going to be available soon. Yeah. So anything interior, awesome. trying to build a one-stop shop. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Well, I guess Next step, get my car inside the workshop and then we can go through exactly what we want for the kit. Sounds and good. Go from there. Yep, brilliant. Okay, James is on board, just getting the car maneuvered around, get it inside. Even sure he's sounding awesome. <laughs> and once it's inside, basically what we'll do, I'll actually show you the stock. Uh, rear interior of the car because obviously that hasn't been adjusted or changed at all um, and then we'll catch up and then basically have a look through some of the options i do like the carbon uh, strut brace that we saw on the ttrs over there but uh, yeah i think something to do with yellow is definitely a no-brainer uh, due to the yellow theme of the car lovely e92 m3 in here as well fiesta st that looks pretty ridiculous track build on that mark 6 golf r and then mine over here all situated ready for work to begin Okay, it's time to choose and basically finalize what we're gonna be doing. Because <laughs> there's, well, as you can see, there's a lot of options. So these are the bases, so the floors, basically, I presume. That's um, it, yeah. So plenty of uh, different options available, yeah. um, ranging from your basic OEM black mm -hmm. carpet. Yeah. That's another popular one, like a black Alcantara. Yeah. And then yeah. you've got your colored Alcantaras. Mm -hmm. For the VW boys, Yeah. all the different color tartans. Got orange, there's yeah, yeah, ranges from everything. Leather. Yeah. Awesome. Exactly that. I think Possibilities to be honest, are endless. I'm, I'm going to be basic <laughs> because this yeah. looks very similar to well, the carpet that's in the back that's of the, the car anyway, on the kind of sides of the, the boot almost. So I think we'll keep it simple and just go for just the black carpet. Sounds good. Yeah. But yeah, no, I mean, there's literally endless options. Yeah, black, black carpet a, is a good one. Um, yeah. Like it is the standard option, but yeah. again, it just makes the car look OEM. So. Yeah, that's it. I mean, we could go Alcantara, but it's a, it's a big bit of Alcantara, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a nightmare to keep clean yeah, as well. Yeah, but. Absolutely. So, yeah. okay, we'll go for black carpet for that. Sounds good. Um, Nets, we've got some on the wall. 
Uh, I think fairly obviously we've got to go yellow, haven't we? Definitely. We've got to go yellow. Definitely got to match the uh, match the brakes with the yellow. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Which yeah, endless uh, endless amount of colours for those as well. So basically, you make all these. Yeah, everything's yeah, made in from house. scratch. Exactly that. Yeah, we invested in the machinery to make them. Yeah, uh, yeah. It can be any colour stitching. So if you wanted a yellow net with black mm -hmm. stitch, yeah, people have had different designs on them before, like a black net with a French flag to go yeah. in different McGowns, etc. A bit like the the TTRS. Exactly with that the, with the German flag on it. Yeah, yeah exactly. So possibilities are endless with yeah, those. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what's so like attractive about all this. Like you can literally come in and say, I want this with that and this, and, exactly. and then you, you, can, you can put it all in and yep. build it. We try to uh, accommodate everyone's wants, so yeah, yeah that's yeah, it. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. But yeah, um, bar-wise, I did also like the carbon yeah, <laughs> as well. Uh, let's take a look at those. So down here. It's almost like the, uh, the atelier section, isn't it? Where you exactly can basically that. spec everything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not oh, quite yeah. to the standard of uh, Lamborghini's <laughs> yeah. display, but somewhere along that line. These are carbon fiber. Yep. We do these in gloss and a matte finish. Mm -hmm. um, nice. And then, yeah, just loads of different All color different options. Other, other colors. Um, these are the ones we stock. They're the most popular ones, but then we yep. can we can get anything custom yep. painted if people want to match a paint code. Yeah, yeah, that's um, true. Yeah, that's, that's a good exactly point. it. Yeah, and of course it's not just the rear seat deletes as well. You do roll cages and, like we said, headliners exactly. and stuff like that as well. Yeah, headliners, uh, starlight. We do yeah. dash retrims, seat retrims. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the seat deletes are our bread and butter, really. Yeah, yeah. But that's and these it, yeah. are the kind of raw. That's it, yeah. Materials for, for Four the materials nets, for right? the cargo nets. And then we got, yeah, our sewing machine there. Yeah, yeah. Where we slave away making them. <laughs> Wicked. All right, well, that's that sorted. Plenty I think of options. We should start with the install. Sounds good. Let's do it. Let's get going. So yeah, as you can see, seats are uh, all out of the car, ready to start the build process now. So we get the car templated. Yep. A big space in there, actually, isn't it? There is. <laughs> when you, when you there get is. all the seats out. And there's a lot of weight in the rear seats, which yes. is really surprising. Yeah, that's true. Um, that's, that's yeah, it should, make a, over there should the make a big difference. Yeah. yeah I no, think we've got a set of scales, so it'd be interesting to see. Yeah, uh, that'd be really cool. Really yeah. interesting to see how, how much, how much weight out. is coming out. But So yeah, next step now is to kind of get the templates ready, do you say? Exactly that, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we'll template the car and then uh, chuck the uh, black carpet on there, yep. get all that sorted and then good to go. Perfect. Okay, templating is all done. Trust the process because obviously it hasn't been carpeted yet. No, nope, that's it. <laughs> that's the next stage, I presume from now, isn't it? Yeah, exactly yeah. that, yeah. So people always get a bit worried when you've got the um, just a template in <laughs> the the carpet. The carpet fills the gaps perfectly, yeah, and it'll yeah. look it'll look OEM. I yeah. can already hear the comments already. First, the the wooden splitter on the Golf. <laughs> now this. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> no, it's going to look mega. And to be no. honest, I did compare the OEM carpet, uh, which is obviously on the sides, to what we're going for on the base, and it's it's pretty much identical. So yeah, exactly that. Really yeah. Nice. yeah, it'll look OEM plus. Yeah, absolutely. And then once that's done, then it will be the net and the bar and everything like that. Exactly. Yeah. Awesome. Last bit going in. As I said, by the way, this is what we've gone for versus the OEM carpet. It's pretty much exactly the same. And this completes the false floor in its entirety. Look at that. <laughs> Mate, that's literally bang on. Yeah, we'll try, uh, try and get it as good as possible. Wow. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. OEM plus is what we're after. Absolutely. Perfect. So yeah, that's all done. On to the next bit. So obviously boot floor is all complete. That's all done, looking mega, pretty much matching OEM, Good to go. OEM carpet. We now move on to the net and obviously the strut brace as well. This looks mega, the carbon and the yellow. It's a good choice. Looks very cool. Very good choice. Very cool. And this is, well, I suppose this bar, where does this actually mount actually? Uh, so these are, this is the cosmetic variation. Yep. So these just slot into the OEM parcel shelf. Mm -hmm. uh, um, yeah, gotcha. So it's obviously doesn't add any structural element to the yep. car. However, um, it's just there for cosmetic reasons. Yeah, yeah. You can use them with the rear seats still in the car, so you yeah. don't have to strip them out. That's true. Um, yeah, yeah. Best of both worlds. Exactly. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's it. But yeah, no, that's looking mega. So yeah, obviously gone for the gloss carbon bar with the yellow net. And then we've just got a couple of fixings for uh, the base as well. That's it, really simple to install. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's get, get it, it done. In it goes then. As James mentioned, straight into where the parcel shelf would normally sit. Clicks into place just like that. All this stuff. And then actually, if I just open the door in here, we've then got little fixings that go down 
into these down here. So really, really quick and easy to install. Yeah, yellow was definitely the best idea for this. Definitely, as we've got a little bit of sim racing going on over here as well. Do you know what? I reckon I need to do something with the back of the seats now. I think we could definitely get something done, yeah. Definitely, because they look cool, right? But it kind of just looks a little bit unfinished with like a satin black kind of finish. Maybe some yellow, some gloss black back there. Or even carbon skin. Ooh. Ooh. So it's always an option. Ooh. <laughs> we'll let him get this other side in and then it'll all be complete. How cool does that look? Okay, it is all done. We're gonna get the car back outside. I love the cold start on this, it sounds so good. Yeah, look at that. Back outside into the rain. Got some more familiar cars. I've got Max's now single turbo M3 F80 generation. Little peek in there, looking awesome. Yeah, this thing is serious now. Have to get this thing back on the channel. Now running a big single turbo down in there, running like 900 horsepower, absolute machine. Look at that, yellow and carbon looking awesome. Definitely the right choice. Oh, it looks so good, so good. Big, big thank you to, well, yourself for getting this done. Thank you for coming down. No, mate, absolutely awesome. And now this car has actually been now templated, so now you can do all the A45s, A35s, it, yeah. everything like that. Well, I think it's pretty fair to say that I am absolutely chuffed with this. Looks really cool. I know maybe a couple of you may be wondering why I've done this. I've now taken quite a lot of practicality out of the car, but I don't daily drive this car. This is a content car for you guys and to really explore the different modifications which we can do to it. And that's why I've done it. I've known James from JC Club Sport a while now. I've filmed so many cars which he's worked on as we've seen here today. And so it was only right for me to then get one of these kits in the car. I think it looks really, really cool. I didn't want anything over the top. This car visually is quite understated, I suppose, in some ways. And so I think the carbon against the yellow looks pucker. And as we mentioned as well, this is the first of the newer generation A-classes, so the A45S and A35s, which he's done. Uh, so now this car has been used as the template for any future kits. And there is a special offer for the first five people with A35s or A45Ss, which go and order one of these kits for themselves. The discount code is HP25 for, you guessed it, 25% off. The first five kits only. So if you've got an A45S, or an A35 and you want one of these, then follow the details down below, grab your order, and then you'll get a nice 25% off. As we've seen as well, the range of different colors, materials is pretty endless, to be honest. I wanted to keep it fairly subtle, but if you want something pretty crazy, then uh, yeah, you can do that as well. But as I said, all the details can be found below. If you've got another car, which you want to do this to, then by all means, get in contact with them as well. But for me today, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know what you think down below and make sure you're subscribed for all the adventures still to come.